What's happening? I'm Eli and welcome to Golf Head. Today we're going to be washing some golf clubs. For this, you're going to need a sink, soap, um, you can use dish soap, I'm using car wash soap today. Um, it waxes it as well so it's nice and shiny when you finish. A sponge um, to do your, like your driver and woods. A brush to do your irons, wedges, whatnot. And then a smaller brush in case you have to get into like smaller areas. Just put a little bit of this in the sink here. Get some warm water in there. Just toss those in there, get them all ready. Oh, you need a towel as well to dry the clubs when they're done. Of course, you're gonna need uh, your golf clubs. So, I got my bag right here. So, I like to start by just putting all my irons and wedges right into there. Let them soak for a little bit. It'll be easier to get all that gunk off of them. Just like that. Then we'll let it soak for a few minutes. We'll come back, scrub them up, be good to go. So I like to like start with my drivers and my woods, um, just so it's not like dirty water that'll scrape it up, you know? So for this, I just, so I have my sponge in here, right? So I just dip my driver in there, grab my sponge, and kind of wipe it a little bit. Um, the face, you might have to use this brush depending on how dirty that is. And then the bottom, I use this brush. It could scrape up the driver on the bottom, so if you don't want the bottom of the driver really scraped up, the bottom of my driver is all scraped up because this thing is seven years old, so it doesn't matter. So, just wash the whole thing like that. Then run it under some water real quick. And then, Take the towel, dry it off. And then any areas that like water can get stuck in, I just blow it out of there. And then that's that. That's good to go. Put her back in the bag. She's clean. Do my uh, three wood here. The bottom of this has some um, like little areas in there. That, that bigger brush doesn't get, so I, oops, so I use this smaller brush, um, the softer side, really get in there. I usually, when I do this, I leave the wedges in there the longest, just so those can soak the most, because those usually have the most like built up the grass and dirt on them or whatnot. Um, so I just start with my irons. And with these, it's, I basically do the same thing, but, so I use this brush, right, to get all this gunk out of here, and then I use the metal side of this if there's anything stuck in there. There isn't right now. I make sure to uh, clean out the uh, number here, and then also this side, where it says that, and then if there's any extra stuff stuck in there, I use the soft side of this brush to just try to get that out. And then I go over with a sponge. I don't really know why, I don't think I need it, but. And then rinse her off, dry it, put it away, and it's good to go. Um, and you can see my irons are paint filled here, and the paint fill's kinda coming out on this iron. So, I'm going to be making a video how to paint fill. Uh, I have an older one on my channel and be making a new one. So if you want to watch that, um, I'll put the link somewhere so you can go check that out. But that won't pro that probably won't be up until like a week after I post this. But yeah, go check that out if, if it's there. So I just finished all my clubs. Um, they're in my bag right here. So I'll show you that right now. My clubs are nice and clean here. And... Uh, now I'm going to fix the paint fill on some of them because it's kind of messed up. Um, and I'll make a video showing that. 
So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And then I'd appreciate it if you checked out my other videos on my channel. Uh, I have some like goofy ones on there um, rather than just how-tos. And go check those out. If you like them, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Thanks.